Now, I know now I'm sure you probably might be following, you, you know, the comments and everything. And, you know, you got a whoo, you got a handful of got a handful of ugliness out there, bro. But All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. Yes, sir. It's how we do it. This is how we do it. We come, we find, we call out, we see something. We want to know more about it. Yo, welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And as you guys can hear the excitement in my voice tonight, I have, ever since I seen the picture, the picture is viral. Everybody talking about it. I had to go out and find this man. I went everywhere for this man. I, I went into the prime. I went into the prime group and let them know that I was looking for this man. Now I have found this man. He reached back out to me and I got him on tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I would like to welcome to the show, Kevin Russo to the show. Yeah. Bruh. First, first thing first, thank you very much for coming on, man. Uh, nope. Let, let's, let's, let's get a, before, be, before we even get into, into what is now, the 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 picture of the century. <laughs> let's uh let's get a let's get a little bit of background about yourself, man. Where um uh, where you know where you come from? How how did you uh get into trucking and and all that good stuff, man? Let's hear your story. Um, I just I just pretty much did my research and everything like that, and then you know I went through all of them. And Prime was the you know the best one. Plus I had a friend that was working in it as well. And he kind of guided me in. I had to wait for a little bit to before I could go to Prime because I had uh, some history that I had to let go, you know, get behind me before I could join. Mm -hmm. um, you know, stu stupid kids, you know, we do stupid stuff when we're younger. Um, but then uh, I did my, didn't, didn't my time and then, you know, got on the clear path and everything like that. I joined Prime and... That's how I pretty much got in it. Okay. I mean, they, they helped me out big time. They changed my life. Okay, okay, okay. So Prime was so what what was you doing prior to uh getting into Prime? You say you know you had some skirmish back in the day, but you know, what what yeah. was what was you doing before you got into trucking and what made trucking the reason you you know you decided to get into? Um well, well, first, the I was doing kind of like ins and odds jobs, you know. Uh, I was fast food for a long time. Um, before I came to Prime, I was cleaning uh, carpet, tile, upholsteries. You know, I was through a business in Florida. And, uh, and then after, I was kind of studying my CDL by then, and I was going through a divorce and everything like that. And uh, after I got the divorce... Uh, I met someone, you know, she kind of helped me get on the right path as well. And she was encouraged for me to do what I wanted. So I went into, took my test and went into prime and, and here I am now still right. driving for him and, right. and I'm a trainer. All right. So how, how long ago, how long ago was, was that before you, before you came in, came into prime? How long ago? I, uh, when I started with Prime, yes, uh, it would have been uh, January twenty first of last year. Okay, so you got so you got a year two thousand two thousand eighteen. Sorry, all right. So you got oh I almost eight, got two years with. Oh, him. Hey, okay, okay, okay. So you got two years with them. Okay, so within that, uh, so within that two year period of of being with Prime, Prime pretty much was the company that you know that you you kind of got kind of got a feel for you 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 knew right then and there that 
Prime was going to be the end all be all for you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I plan on retiring with him. Okay, okay. And now and now you're a trainer? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now when you yeah. came now when you came in through the through the program with uh with Prime, did you did you have any bad experience with with the trainers at the time that was training you or you 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 was pretty good with with the trainers who trained you at Prime? Yeah, the trainers were pretty good with me. Uh I got along with all of them. Um they showed that the I didn't know how to drive a manual and at the time they were like, you know, well, would you mind learning a manual? And I said, yeah, sure. So I don't have a restriction on my license. I can drive a manual, but, um, yeah, they, he, the, my first, my PSD trainer, he guided me through, you know, how to shift gears and double clutch and all that good stuff with it. And then his brother was the one that did the TNT with me and I got along with both of them pretty well. Okay, okay. So, brother man, brother man, brother man, let's let's talk about let's talk about this this tattoo, bro. <laughs> yes, uh your 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 post uh your post says that you and your wife are very grateful to Prime. Uh they you, they change they change your lives for the best. Uh, you moved up to Springfield, Missouri, to work directly with them. Uh, you right. you thanked it Prime, you know. You thanked it them for inviting, you know, being in the Prime family. Um, you have a green truck, and I think you said something about a, a a a purple truck, and then you showed the Prime yeah, tattoo. The green truck was my first truck. You know? And you showed the prime tattoo, brother man. What? What? Wow. I I guess. What was? What was your thought process behind getting the getting the prime tattoo? Well, I mean, my it's. I have my I have all kinds of tattoos. I have I have twenty four tattoos. Mm -hmm. Um, so each one tells a story of what's happened in my life. Um, like I have, I have conquer fear on me with my sobriety date. Mm -hmm. I have the serenity prayer on them. Mm -hmm. it, it, my, it's my body. So it tells, it's my story, you know? So I put Prime on there cause they're part of my story. They're the one that helped me get on, uh, you know, a better path and, you know, because I'm a I'm a high school dropout twice, so I don't you know I couldn't get anything, so they kind of help me, you know, show me the way that I can make you know decent money and not doing the things I was doing back in the day. Wow. So now that so so now that this this uh tattoo has has went viral did you inspect yeah. it did you inspect it to get so much attention that it did I mean not I mean I was expecting to get a little bit but not not as many negative comments it is but it is what it is I mean people have their own opinion they can you know they can say whatever they want but uh I have tough skin, so it it doesn't bother me at all. Now I now I mentioned it. I, I mentioned it myself, and I I said I, I said, bro, did you you had to get paid to do this, right? I mean, no, Prime, I did. I did. It, I did it myself. So you Prime didn't know about it. Well, after you got it done, and after you posted it. Did anybody, did anybody from Prime head office came and said anything to you about it? Like, oh, no, nobody. No. Wait, no one, no one said anything to me about it. Wait, now I'm, I'm sure the head, I'm, I'm sure the people 
uh, the heads up have to have to have seen this uh, this tattoo of yours. Nobody having. I'm probably pretty sure. No, nobody there having called you up and say, uh, uh, give you any accolades or anything like that. Like you know, uh, we appreciate you, driver, or or something like that. Something, something. Um. The one, the one that I went on uh, Facebook, you know, Prime Inc. The Facebook, she, she said, you know, um, actually I can. She liked it, but she's like, oh, I don't have tattoos, but she, she appreciated it and everything like that. But that's that's so far that's all I've got. Wow. Let's see. Um. Uh, all she said was, "Wow, that's awesome! Would you mind submitting the picture through the link below? Facebook down downgrades the uh, quality through Messenger for pictures, unfortunately." Okay. So and then I went on her, I went on their, um, on the link and posted, and she posted on Instagram and Facebook, and then on Facebook she had to take it down because uh, there is rudely comments on it. What? It, wait, in the yeah, wait in the prime in the prime ink group because I I would think yeah. I I would think the prime ink group is like you guys group or or is this a or is this a thing that everybody could see because I didn't see this through prime ink I saw this in another group. Yeah, prime uh, prime. Uh, there's another group. It's in another group as well. But yeah, she put it up there, uh, and it was up there for, I think she said about a couple hours, and then there was already 99 comments on it, and most of them were all rude comments. So she just took it down. Wow, bruh, uh, yeah. man, what do you, now? Let me ask you this: What do you say to all the all the negative comments? What, what do you say to all them guys? What do you got to say to all them guys that made? the the negative uh comments about about your tattoo uh, well it's not fake <laughs> for one a lot of people said it was fake yeah it's not that's fake. that's what i yeah. thought i looked at it too i thought it yeah. was uh i mean i i thought it was like one of them peel off deals i i honestly oh, thought that yeah. you that you did that just to you know just to get a rise but yeah you said it's not right. fake so it's it's the real yeah, deal no. No, it. Yep. Yeah, that's a real deal. I spent three hours in the chair for it, so I, I know. God damn it, man! Three hours? <laughs> yeah. Fuck how so, how I did mean, how did that go? I mean how 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 was the experience getting it? I mean, you went into your tattoo guy and you say, "Hey, I want this tattoo." What what did your tattoo guy do? Did he? He had to say, "Bruh, I I I wouldn't suggest this." <laughs> oh no, he 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 was he was good with it. Yeah, he 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 wanted to, he wanted me to post it on uh, the Facebook page of Prime Inc. and everything, which I I can't do myself. I have to get approval for it, you know. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, he was he was all. Uh oh. Oh, wait, hello? Unfortunately, we missed all of that, what you were saying about how you felt about the naysayers. So can you, can you, uh, can you uh, tell us how you feel about the naysayers as far as, as far as your uh, tattoo goes? Um, I like it. They, they, everyone's got their own opinion, you know. If they don't, they don't have to like it it's on my body. I mean, they can say all they want to. It's not going to, I mean, I've had people say, you know, you know, some pretty, pretty, some stupid stuff. Um, but, I mean, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, if they want to keep doing it, that's fine, but it's not going to bug me. I mean, I'll still go in prime turning. Not going to, not going to stop me from doing my job. I enjoy my job. Love my job. So, Man, sorry if they feel so bad. You know, they have to hash up like that and just on someone's artwork and not appreciate it. So, 
He must not be enjoying his life or is he just miserable. So they can do whatever they want. Ke- Kevin, do you have me on a do you got me on a speaker or on a or on your Bluetooth? My Bluetooth. Yeah, take 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 me off the Bluetooth because it makes for better it makes for better sound. Sounds like you're underwater. How about, how about now? There you go. There you go. Yeah, okay. it sound it sounded like you was underwater when you was <laughs> when oh. you was talking. But uh, oh, I'm sorry, Kevin, man. Uh, again, I, I wanna I, I wanna thank you for coming on and uh, chopping it up with me, right quick, man. Uh, no problem, sir. The, out of out of all the companies though that you that you decided that you decided to come and 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 drive for did you did you yeah. do any did you do any research before you settled with prime oh yeah i mean i looked at swift cr england you know uh you know pretty much all those companies that had school but at that time i didn't have you know any money to put down for any school. So when I found out Prime, you know, as long as you stay with them for a year, you don't have to pay them back and and all that. And after that, I just kind of, I went on other Facebooks, you know, looked at Busy Blake's um, YouTube channels, Mm -hmm. uh, Crazy Bags when he worked for Prime at the time. I was, you know, I went on other YouTube channels to see how Prime worked and all that. And I just kind of stuck with them. Okay. Okay. Now you said you uh you you said you he's cutting out a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, you said that uh that that you actually moved up to Missouri to be the to to be close to the to the terminal. Where did you move from? Yeah. I mean, where 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 was you living before you before you got with Prime? Uh, Florida. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. so now, well, to my understanding, Prime hires out of Florida now. Well, they don't hire; Correct. they on, they only hire at key places out of Florida. So, did they? Did you moved up to Missouri before they started hiring out of Florida, or or after? Yeah, I I moved out of Florida before they even started hiring. Oh, okay, okay. So you. Yeah. So you pretty much told. So you're on the phone with with the recruiter at the time. You, so you just say, "Hey, I know you guys don't hire out of Florida, but I, I'll move up to Missouri. Would you guys still give me my opportunity?" And they did, right? Oh, oh no, I was I was living in Florida. They were still hiring in Florida when I got uh, into the recruiting program. Okay. Yeah, and oh. then after I got when I got. Uh, Accepted into the program, uh, they stopped hiring in Florida about I think a couple months after that. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Well, since since yeah. you got since you got Prime etched on your arms, what do you got yeah. now? I already know what you said about the naysayers about the tattoo, but now what right. do you say about the naysayers about the company as well? Because there there has been some horror stories, bruh. There has been some horror oh. stories with Prime. So, what what yeah. do you got? What do you got to say uh, about about Prime to the to the naysayers? Uh, uh, really, I mean, either they, unfortunately, either they didn't do something right, or I mean, they they've been a good company to me. Um, my fleet manager, he's he's awesome. He runs me hard, so. Uh, I just do what they tell me to do. I go to point A to point B and make sure I'm not late. Um, I mean, with the naysayers that don't like Prime, hopefully you find something that works for you. That's that's all I can pretty much say. Are you uh are are you a lease op or your company driver? Company driver. Okay, okay, okay. Would you? Now, for everybody else that went lease uh, with Prime, yeah. are, are are you gonna are you gonna go lease with Prime, or or what's the reason why you won't go lease with Prime? I'm staying company um, because me and my fleet manager get along well. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, lose him as a fleet manager, and then 
You know, if I if I release don't work out, I have to go with someone else. I I always say that uh, I, I I always say since I've been out here, if you have a good report with your fleet manager, the time with the company yeah. is gonna be is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Right. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Fix it. Right. So overall, Kevin, man, before I let you go, uh, again, thank you for being on, man. But overall, no problem, sir. Uh, if you was to if you was to go with a different company, like U.S. Express or C.R. England or anything like that, would you would have would you would have get a tattoo of any of those companies if 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 you was in the same position that you were in with Prime? If they treat me well, yeah, it's part of my it's my body, it's my it's my story. So if, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't go with Prime the first time, say like like you said, if I didn't go with Prime first and I started with U.S. England, if it worked out well, yeah, I'd, I'd get their I'd get their name tattooed on me. Okay, okay. Is you gonna get anything else tattooed around around it, or are you just gonna let it? You just gonna let it move. Right there on that form. Uh, I probably get you know something else that's around it. You know, I've been trying. I've been trying to see what I can. You know, go kind of go around my other tattoos because I have a tattoo on my inner forearm and on my outer, and then my I have pretty much all three sides of the forearm covered with same. Now, what do you? I, I, I think. Uh, I think an outline of a truck. Well, probably, I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. This, I, I'm, I'm looking at the tattoo now, and I'm like, maybe, maybe some wheels or something like that. I don't know. The pain, right. uh, the pain level. You said you was in the seat for three hours. The pain yeah. level, one to ten. Uh, I'd say about two. Oh, oh, it wasn't that bad. No, I've got my ribs done. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, Kevin, right, uh, how to pronounce your last name? Rusi? Rudisol. Rudisol. Kevin Rudisol, yeah, everybody. Again, thank you, brother, man, for coming on. Like no problem. I, I appreciate like, it, sir. Like, thank you. Like I said, man, your, your, your tattoo sparked spark conversations throughout the trucking industry man because you know like i said yeah. a lot of a lot of people is not crazy about prime and and you know and and the yeah and the reason why you put got it on there you know we we need to hear it so i appreciate you let me uh let me be the first to interview you to to get this out there man thank you thank you sir all right now you take it easy kevin and uh hey don't be no stranger, bruh. Lockout Men podcast right. on YouTube, man. Check me out. Wow. Woo! Thank you for coming on. I appreciate that, bruh. Yo, let's 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 get up out of here, man. That was what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I know it's not that many people in the chat right now, but for the people that is in the chat, thank you very much for being here. Yo. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. Yo, Lockout Men Podcast. This is what I do. This is what I do. I find it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I find people, interesting people, crazy stuff like that, man. This, 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 this right here or right here, this right here question leave it in the comments below and no negative comments in my comment section if you don't if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say it at all all right but question would you get a company name tattooed on any parts of your body leave it in the comments below all right all right with that said I am Lockout Men. Thank you for being here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to support your boy, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up with some coffee. The coffee app is in the description and the cash app. 
dollar sign lockout me also i appreciate you watching i appreciate you listening so thank you if you want to come on and chop it up with me hit me up in the gmail lockout men podcast at gmail.com also hit me up over at instagram hit me in the dm until next time everybody i will come back at you with another video peace